Meanwhile, back at home in the earth, after putting in the first layer of earth and umbrella, we still had some work to do before the excavators could come back and bury the rest of it. I had wanted to brown coat stucco these dormers before the first phase of the burial, I just didn't get around to it. So now they were half buried, but it would only get harder after the second phase. So we had to take care of it now, at least the bottom half. You can see they already had a scratch coat, so now we had to clean off the dust and excavate the buried parts of the wall. Seasons are changing, and the sun sets earlier, so we turn on the lights to finish up this batch of stucco. Out again on another day. Oops, a dog print. We wet down the walls both to clean off the dust and to prevent the previous scratch coat from sucking the moisture out of the new stucco too quickly. It would be nice to take care of stuccoing these completely in one shot, but the bottom half is what will get buried, and we need to move as fast as possible to get dirt on before the excavator takes his equipment away. There's also urgency to get grass up here before the start of winter, so the bottom half is enough. Moving over to the next dormer, briefly. And then back to this crazy one to add the frost protection for the footings. This insulation, even though it's outside, will help keep the heat inside the building. And then over to another dormer. The stucco is done here, but it still needs insulation. And the master bedroom dormer still needs both stucco and insulation, so let's start with the excavation. The second half of the job was building this narrow section of retaining wall to keep the earth from spilling past the window on the front of the house. The first layer of boulders is actually below ground level and we started that back on the day of excavation. So by the time this footage starts, we're already several boulders tall. Using primarily the excavator and some straps, we continued on. The first rule of boulder wall building is to build it as if it's already fallen down. So we inclined the wall so it was falling back against the earth and we kept filling up behind it. We also had landscapers fabric behind the wall and we would put down a layer with the excess flopped forward over the wall and then we could backfill behind the wall until we were up near the wall height. Then we could flip that landscapers fabric back over the dirt and add more boulders. Puzzling the stones together was both the fun part and the challenge. Some took a lot longer to fit than others. And having that forklift slowly sinking as we work just added a timer to the challenge. At the end, I didn't want wasps making nests in the dry stack, so I filled all the gaps with smaller stones and mortar to lock it all together. I also took great care to clean that excess mortar off the stones as it went before moving further down the wall. Mm -hmm. 
Now let's finish burying this house in the next video.